Hello kids, today we shall learn about the fabrics. Now we know there are different types of fabrics or clothing materials which we use according to the season and even weather conditions. For example, we use natural fabrics like cotton, jute, silk, wool and even synthetic fabrics like nylon, polyester etc. Now let us understand how a fabric is made in general. From far, a fabric seems like a continuous piece. But if we observe it very closely or if we see it through a magnifying glass, we would find that there are many strings overlapping each other and there is a fixed pattern to it. The various strings may be crisscrossing each other or there may also be strings in form of closed loops. This kind of arrangement has to be done in order to keep the strings firmly together in form of a cloth. What exactly is used to make a fabric? Let us have a close look to know how a fabric is formed. If we tear a piece of old ragged cloth and look into the edge of the cloth where it is torn, we will find many strings. These are yarns. Different types of yarns are used to make different fabrics. This arrangement of yarn is done by few methods and these are very interesting to watch or see. You must have seen your mother or grandmother making sweaters. She uses two big needles to make the loop pattern for making a sweater or other woolen clothes. You know only a long single yarn is used to make various clothing items. A single yarn turns into a big sweater. Isn't it amazing? This method is called knitting. Knitting can be done both by hands as well as by machines. Not just in sweaters, knitting is also used in something else. If a small string comes out of your old torn socks, and you try to remove it by pulling, you will find that the single yarn gets pulled out continuously. It seems like there is no stopping to it. This is because it is made out of a single yarn. So in knitting we saw only a single yarn is used. Sometimes two yarns are arranged together to form a fabric and this method is called weaving. In weaving Two distinct sets of yarns are interlaced at right angles to form a fabric. Looms are used for weaving and the looms can be driven by man which is called hand loom or it can also be driven by electricity which is called power loom. Looms are used to produce most of the fabrics. If you go to village you will find many weavers making clothes using the loom and you will love to watch it. So we saw either by weaving or knitting yarn a fabric was formed. There can be other methods too but how do we get yarn for the fabric? If we take a piece of yarn and hold one end of it and then scratch other end of the yarn along its length you will find yarn is splitting into thin strands. These are fibers. So the yarn is made of many thin fibers twisted together. Also while trying to thread a needle many a time you may find that the end of the thread gets separated into few thin strands. The thin strands of the thread that we see are made of still thinner strands called fiber. So the yarn is made of fibers. You know the process of making yarn from fibers is called spinning. Now the question is where do we get the fiber from? We already know we get cotton from the cotton plants. Actually it is the cotton fibers which we get from the cotton plant. Similarly it is the jute fiber which is obtained from the jute plants. Silk fiber is drawn from the cocoon of the silkworm. Wool is obtained from the fleece of sheep or goat and even from the hair of rabbits, yak and camels. 
also synthetic fibers are used to make synthetic fabrics like nylon and polyester in a nutshell the fabric is generally obtained by weaving or knitting of yarn and yarn is a continuous strand of twisted natural or synthetic fibers such as wool or nylon or we can say it the other way round the fibers are the thin strands or threads of natural or synthetic material by spinning multiple strands of fibers are twisted to form a single continuous strand of yarn and lastly by weaving or knitting of different yarns we get different fabrics right kids that was all for today bye bye kids